Noisy or grainy footage like this can destroy the production quality of your videos. It's not uncommon, but most people don't realize that it's an issue until they're reviewing their video footage and that's when it's too late to prevent it. If that sounds like you, then stick around because in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix your grainy footage fast and also recommend the best tools to do it. And it's much easier than you think. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help entrepreneurs and business owners amplify their business and brand with video. If you're new here, then make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Now, noisy or grainy video footage is usually caused by shooting in low light conditions. Those conditions where you need to boost the ISO or the digital exposure up more than you'd like just to get the shot. If you've been shooting in any conditions like this, then you've no doubt encountered this in your own footage. The problem is that it doesn't look great. It can significantly lower the production quality of your videos, but fortunately there are a few professional tools out there that can quickly and easily fix your grainy footage. In the past, we've taken a look at Neat Video and how it can help solve the problem, but Red Giant have now updated their offering and it's now a powerful alternative. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at Red Giant Denoiser 3 and Neat Video and run through exactly how to use them to fix your footage. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'll also provide my recommendations to help you decide which one is the best Best offering for you. So in general terms, these plugins are pretty similar. They'll both remove the noise or the grain from your video files, but how they actually do it and the level of control that you have over the settings and even advanced settings are totally different with the two of them. But in a nutshell, what they're gonna do is analyze your video footage, look at the grain or the noise that's present in it and try to remove that. And in some cases, it could be blending or smoothing or just using some magic wizardry to remove it. Now, before we jump into a step-by-step -step run through on how to actually use these plugins, let's take a quick look at what you need to run them. So Neat Video is available for programs like Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, Vegas, Magix, and a heap of other ones as well, but it's also available as an OFX or AVX plugin for other applications like Nuke, DaVinci Resolve, Hit Film, Media Composer, and the list goes on. So you can see that Neat Video is available for probably most of the major video editing applications out there. And there are versions available for both Mac and PC inside of those applications. Red Giant Denoiser covers off on a lot of the top professional applications, but definitely isn't available on anywhere near as many applications as Neat Video. So you can run Red Giant Denoiser on Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion. And it will work cross platform as well. So both Mac and PC. So as long as you're running one of those applications, then you'll be able to utilize these plugins. And it's also important to note that both of these plugins will support multi-CPU or multi-core and GPU rendering. So if you've got a powerful computer, then this is gonna help you speed up the noise reduction process. And really this is something that is gonna put your computer system under quite a bit of load. So the more powerful your system is, the faster this process is going to be. So when you're applying a filter or a plugin like this to your footage, I would highly recommend that you're doing it at the end of your editing so that it doesn't slow down the rest of your editing process and really only apply it to the clips that definitely need it. If there's clips there that you're happy with, then make sure that it's not applied on it or you'll be chewing up a heap of extra time on your render or export. Okay, so let's jump in and see how these two plugins work. Okay, so we're here in Adobe Premiere Pro on PC. We've got two 4K clips in our timeline. The first one here has a lot of noise and grain around the sky, the building, the grass, and the second clip here. So this is our worst case example here. And I think we have a bit of fun with this just to see how well these plugins actually work at removing the grain from this. Now, this was obviously shot on a cheap camera. I think it was actually shot on a smartphone, Samsung Galaxy S8. So the noise here at nighttime is pretty bad. But it'll be interesting to see how it goes between these two 4K clips. Now we do have another timeline over here as well, which is a 1080p timeline with yet another clip. And we would try to remove some of this noise and grain that is up in the top here in the sky and also down in the water. So I'll stop that now. We'll come back to our 4K timeline. Let's do that one first. And we'll apply the neat video plugin to this first clip. So we'll drag it on. You can see once we dragged it on, the timeline's gone red. We'll come over here to our effect controls and hit prepare. And because we haven't used it before on this clip, we'll hit build. We don't have a profile ready. So click on that. And this is the neat video interface. 
So what I suggest you do if you haven't run this before is to come up and check your settings. So go to tools, go to preferences and performance. Now here is where you can make sure that you are using the maximum performance from your computer. As I said, this is gonna put your system under a lot of load. So you want to give it access to using whatever you can throw at it. So in our case here, we're on a six core computer. So six physical cores and six virtual cores giving us 12 cores. So you get to manually choose in here if you'd like, and you should definitely enable your video card here if you have the option, because that will speed it up considerably. Now without scaring people with all these settings, you can just hit optimize settings and come down to the bottom and hit start. And that will go through and test your computer and set the optimal recommended settings for your system. So I'll stop that now, cancel out of that. Just wanted to point that out because if you don't do that, then it's likely that you'll just be on CPU only instead of enabling your video card. And you might only be using a small percentage of your CPU. So these renders could take a really long time. So the first thing once you've got that sorted is to come up here and press auto profile. That will go through and analyze your video and try to find an area of your video that it thinks is noisy that it can repair from as a sample size. This is taking a sample of our footage. Now, in most cases, the auto profile that it's just created will be more than enough to get the best results. And you can just hit apply and that will be good to go. But in this specific case, there actually wasn't a lot of grain on that footpath. It was more so the grass, was more so some of the trees and things up in this area around the light and the sky. So what I would recommend here is to move this either up to the sky, but it might be too dark. Yep, so it's too consistent, it's not finding any noise up there. Or move it down into the grass area. So that's what I would be doing here. Resize this down a little bit. So you can see when we move that down there and resize it, we've got a noise level of 5.7. So if we wanna preview what that might look like now, we can come over here to noise filter settings. That will go through and apply and you can see straight away Again, I'm hoping the recording is showing this, that it has taken out a heap of the noise from around the light and from around the trees as well, and obviously in the grass. Now, if you want more advanced controls, there are heaps of settings in here. The first one I would say to play with though, if it's not quite there, if it's made an improvement, but you wanna go further, would be to increase the radius here. So if we increase this from two, to three, it's removed a little bit more. So it will really come down to the footage that you've got and how much noise or grain there is. And there's a heap of other options in here under spatial. You can actually change the luminance, the noise level. Uh, if you remove too much and the, the video is looking soft, then you can enable some sharpening to bring some of that detail back in. So there is a heap of settings in here. We're not gonna get bogged down with all of that, but let's just hit apply. Now, as we said, this is gonna put your system under a heap of load. So if I press spacebar and try to play this, yep, it's not going too well. And this system is an absolute beast of a system. So this is why you'll only apply this towards the end of your videos. So let's render that out so we can see what it looks like. So even to render out this clip here, which is 23, nearly 24 seconds long, took five and a half minutes. So if we played through this now, that flicker in the trees is nearly gone. The noise in the grass is nearly gone. All around the sky and around the light, it's gone. So that did an amazing job. But you can see that that takes a long time to process. And that was really without any advanced tweaking or playing with the settings. So this might be hard to see, but I'll turn that effect off. And you can see that the noise and the grain up around the light here, is probably the most obvious one that you should be able to see. I'll turn it back on and you'll see that that is removed. So I get rid of neat video now, and let's add on red giant denoiser. Drag that on. See, once again, our timeline goes red. Come over here to denoiser three. You can see that it is a totally different setup. The amount of control that you have is a lot less than what we had in neat video. So straight out with the effect applied, we are still seeing quite a bit of noise and grain around the light here. So we can get in and tweak some of these settings. So the primary one here is the reduced noise. The higher you increase this value to, the more noise reduction that happens. So if we let go there now, it has reduced quite a bit from around the light, but there's still a little bit visible around there. So we'll go up a bit more. And we'll probably increase the smooth colors as well. Okay, so that's really taken out quite a bit of the noise there now. Let's render that out and compare that through. You'll also see as well that the render times here is much, much faster. So from around five and a half minutes before, 
we're looking at a estimated time around a minute and a half. So that render was much faster. It was actually under the two minute mark. So heaps faster than the neat video plugin. As we scrub through this now, I can see that the individual frame looks pretty good. But when you're looking at it as an actual video and you're playing back or scrubbing through the footage, you can still see quite a bit of noise up in, especially around the trees and around the light here and on the grass. It actually doesn't look like it's done quite a lot, yet the individual frames look like they're being cleaned up quite a bit. So that's on now, let's turn it off to take a look. So you can see on the individual frame, there's a heap more noise around that light. Turn it on and it smoothed it up and removed a lot of it. But when we play back, it all comes back and it's a rendered out clip. So that's really interesting. So now let's jump across to our really crazy clip here. I might just cut a section out of it because it's going to take a long time to render all of this out. Let's just pick from here and have a bit of movement in there, see how it goes with that and finish it here. And we'll start out by applying the Neat Video plugin. All right, so that's done. So let's take a look at how that actually did. Let's play that back. So that has removed a huge amount of that noise, especially from up and around this area. Let's just turn it off to have a look at before and after. So this was before. Come back and play it again now. This is after. It's done a fantastic job. This footage could probably be almost usable now. All right, so let's disable that there and let's apply the Red Giant Denoiser. Drag that on there. Again, this is an absolute worst case scenario for your footage. Okay, so here is the rendered version. Let's play that through. And there is still a heap of noise or grain in this footage. And let's turn it off and play it again. And back on. Yeah, it's definitely removed some, but it's not removing anywhere near as much as the Neat video. So this is the original footage here. Let's turn on Denoiser 3 so you can see it. It's smoothed out a lot of this, but there's still quite a bit of grain there. Turn that back off. So this is without any noise reduction. And here is the Neat video. So it's smoothed it out so much more. But what Neat video is actually doing is making the video look good, not just the individual frame. So if we play this, the actual video is almost usable. Whereas, we'll turn that off, go back to the red giant denoiser. The individual frames don't look so bad, but when you're playing them as a video, then you've still got a heap of noise and grain in there. So let's take a look at our third example, the 1080p project, which is a much brighter clip. So we'll see how these two plugins go on this one. But what I'll do is just shorten this clip down to make it 10 seconds. Okay, so I've applied both of these effects individually to this clip in the timeline. So this is with no filters applied. So you can see there's a heap of grain and noise in the water down here and up in the sky as well. So we'll turn on now the Neat Video plugin. Just enable that, play that through. And you can see that it is much better. There's still a little bit going on around the grandstands down here and the water is much better. The sky is almost perfect. So let's turn that one off. So we'll come across here and do a quick before and after. So this is with it on and this is with it off. Now I think this is gonna be really hard to see on the actual recording. So I'm turning this on and off. So that's with it on and that's with it off. So with it off, you can definitely see a lot more noise and grain. So the Neat Video plugin's done a great job here. So we'll keep that one off and we'll turn on the Denoiser plugin. And once again, this has done a great job on this individual frame here. This looks really good. The sky looks good. The water looks good. Let's go back and play it. And it's actually done a fairly reasonable job this time. I'd say this is almost identical now to the Neat Video plugin for this test. The water's looking pretty good. The sky is looking great. So with a shot with a lot more light in it, both of them are fairly comparable. Okay, so now you've seen the two plugins side by side and how they work. 
and the level of control that you get over each of the plugins. So it was really interesting to see the difference between the two, especially on an individual frame versus playing back the footage and how the Red Giant Denoiser plugin looked amazing on a static frame, but once you actually played back the video files, they still had a lot of noise and grain in them. Whereas the Neat Video plugin was actually processing the video much, much better. It was actually giving really great results, especially from that incredibly noisy or grainy file. I really wasn't expecting much from that, but it actually recovered it so much so that you could probably use that video in your edits. So now that you've seen the examples and how they work, let's take a look at the pricing. So you can pick up the Neat Video plugin starting at $74.90 for the HD or 1080p version. This is also the non-commercial version. So if you're gonna be using it for business or if you're gonna be using higher resolution video footage, 4K, 6K or bigger, then you'll need to go for the higher license, which is just under the $100 mark. So this gives you both unlimited frame size and for commercial use as well. So at that price point, what you're actually buying is the plug-in license for one system, one piece of video editing software and one operating system. So if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro on Mac and you've also got it installed on PC, then you will need to buy this license twice, one for the Mac, one for the PC. Or if you then want to use it on Final Cut as well, it is a separate purchase for the Final Cut license as well as the Premiere one. Red Giant Denoiser 3 sells for $199, or there's also an academic version for $99. So it's obviously a little bit more expensive, but what you will get for this is the cross-platform, cross-program usability with the license, meaning that you can have Denoiser 3 installed and running on Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere, and even potentially Final Cut as well on the same system with the one license fee. And that license will also work on both Mac and PC. So while it definitely is more expensive, if you are going to be using it across multiple applications, then that might help sway your decision there as well. So to summarize this up in all our testing, the Neat Video plugin, it definitely took longer to render the effect out, but it did a much better job, especially on the worst case examples of noisy or grainy footage at repairing the footage and making it usable. On all the video footage that we tested where there was some noise or grain in there, but it really wasn't that bad, then both of them were actually on par at removing and fixing that grain with obviously Red Giant Denoiser a little bit faster. But I think the other really big feature that you get with Neat Video that's worth mentioning is that those profiles that you create for your noisy footage, you can save them. So if you've got a heap of noisy footage, you can save that profile and apply it to all of your footage ongoing. Maybe you've got an issue with a camera that's always giving you noise or grain in your video files. You can save that as a preset and then apply it later without needing to go through and analyze the footage and set all of that up again. So that is actually a really powerful feature if you're going to be doing a lot of noise reduction or video recovery really. So overall, I would recommend Neat Video to anyone that has really bad footage that they need to recover and remove the noise or grain from. Hands down, it's gonna be the best solution there. But also to someone that probably isn't gonna be jumping and moving between different editing applications. So you don't need to go and buy a separate license for each system. If you're only using one, then it's gonna make that decision much easier for you. And then the flip side to that is if you are someone that is jumping between a heap of different editing programs and wants to have this noise reduction feature and probably isn't doing worst case scenario noise reduction and is just cleaning up a bit of noise in some of your brighter shots, then Red Giant Denoiser could be the best option for you. Now, if you're looking to get the most out of your camera, whether you're using a DSLR, a video camera, or a smartphone, then getting a solid understanding of the settings is the best way to do it. Check out the video linked on screen now. Where we cover off the best settings for DSLRs for video, but the settings will also apply through to your smartphone or your video cameras as well. And I'll see you soon.